All right, guys. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you guys about linear equations. So for all of you guys that are entering the eighth grade or algebra one, maybe even ninth grade, but are entering algebra one, this is going to be very important as most of algebra one is going to cover this, right? You guys are going to spend three months of the eight month school year trying to learn this. So let me start off. So what is a linear equation? So in simplicity, a linear equation is basically a line. Right, it's just a straight line, the, the common line that you guys know. But what are the two forms to put it in? The most common ones right here are point-slope form, which I'll explain later, and standard form. So this is how you're going to put the line, right? So you guys know the x and y values, so this is what's going to happen. On the first one, point-slope form, you have y is equal to mx plus b. So why is this called point-slope form? Because m represents the slope and B represents the point, which is also known as the y-intercept. And what is the y-intercept? It's where, so you guys know the x and y-axis, right? The y-intercept is where the line touches the y-axis, right? You guys can see right here. And the you guys, this isn't really part of the line, but the x-intercept is where it touches the x-axis. So you guys got to learn that. And now, what is slope? Slope is basically the change in y over the change of x. So it's how much it goes up by, right? Or how much it goes down by if it's the other way. So you guys, I'll explain this further. Like I'll explain slope and how to calculate slope later. But all you guys need to know right now is to how to find slope, which is m. And then y and x are constants, right? You guys know that. So let's practice an example. So given one plus two, wait, no, let's use example one first. Let's do example one. So y is equal to 2x plus 4. So what is the slope? As I just said, m is the slope. In this case, 2, right? Whatever it's in front of that x. So 2 is the slope. So m is equal to 2. And what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is b, the value of b, right? So this right here is 4. So that means b is equal to 4. Therefore, in this line, the slope is 2, and the y-intercept, right, where it touches the y-axis is 4. And this is reasonable because if you look at the line, you guys can tell that it's going to be a positive, right? Because it's not right here. It's not going to be negative. So it means 4 is a reasonable answer. And now let's move on to example 2. So 1 plus 2y is equal to 3x. So what is the slope? We're going to have to put it in y, right? We have to isolate y. So how do we isolate y? We can add, we can subtract 1 on both sides, giving us 2y is equal to 3x minus 1. Right, and now we can divide both sides by 2, giving us y is equal to 3x minus 1 over 2. Or it can be rewritten as y is equal to 3x over 2 minus 1 half. Right, in this case, what is the slope going to be? As I said, because after you isolate y, you have m. What is m? It's 3 over 2, because what's in front of that x? 3 over 2. So that means our slope is going to be 3 over 2. What is the y-intercept? As I said, right, it's going to be plus b. But in this case, it's minus 1 half. So it means the value of our y-intercept is going to be negative 1 half. OK, guys, so you just have to isolate y and then use this formula right here, y is equal to mx plus b, to find out the slope and y-intercept. This is going to be very important. But if you guys learn how to do this really quickly, right, you guys isolate all this, you guys can figure it out. So example three, I'll let you guys do this by yourself. Um, write your answer in the comments. M is equal to what? B is equal to what? Write that in the comments. I won't do it right now because I wrote this form specifically because I'm going to explain standard form right now. Right. But write your answers in the in the um, thing below in the comments below. I meant. All right. Now let's do standard form. This is standard form but in my opinion you guys will see point slope form much more than you'll see standard form but what is standard form it is ax plus by is equal to c and what does that mean a and b are constants right so that means that they are just numbers x and y are always going to be the same a b and c are constants right they could be any number like but x and y will always be in this equation so let me explain so the slope of this equation will always be negative a over b why is this? Because, as I just said, using point slope form, right, you have to isolate y. So let me just break down this equation for you. So you have ax plus by is equal to c, right? 
And now let's subtract AX on both sides. That'll give me BY is equal to negative, C, wait, yeah, C, wait, negative AX plus C. Right, these cancel out and negative AX plus C. And now let me divide both sides by B. That'll give me Y is equal to negative A over BX plus CB. So what does that mean? I mean, since you just see that we isolated for Y, right? Hence, giving us point slope form, we have what is the slope? M, right? M is the slope. Therefore, negative A over B is going to be the slope and plus B, right? Giving us C over B is going to be the Y intercept. So given standard form, don't be afraid to just convert it back to point slope form if it makes you feel more comfortable. You guys can perfectly do that. So let's continue, right? Boom, let's you do this example right here. So question one, two X minus four Y is equal to three. What is the slope? So using this e formula right here, the slope is equal to negative A over B and the Y intercept is equal to C over B. What is the slope? It's going to be negative A over B. So what is A in this case? It's two, right? A is equal to two. What is B? B is equal to negative four, right? Don't forget to include the negative because if it's negative, it's going to be negative four. I mean, if it's minus, it's gonna be negative four. But then on the other hand, if it's plus, it's gonna be four, just four. But in this case, it's negative four. So negative A over B. So negative A over B, which is negative two over negative four. The negatives cancel out, right? You guys can cancel out the negatives, giving us two fourths or one half. So what is B equal to in this case? I mean, what is the slope, right? I mean, M, yeah, M is the slope. What is M equal to in this case? It's equal to one half. So boom, you guys got that. And now they're asking for the Y intercept. So you guys can see here, what is the Y intercept? It's C over B. What is C in this case? It's three. And what is B in this case? It's negative four. Boom, that gives you a B, a B value of negative three over four. So I tried to explain these two the best I could. Well, you guys can do question two by yourself, right? Write that in the comments as well. It's these questions are not exactly too hard, but they serve as an example for all you guys that are just learning this. So if you guys don't understand, you guys can write your questions in the um, comments below. But otherwise, this is linear equations explained. It's not that hard, but I'll make a more complex video on this pretty soon. So stay tuned. And I'll see you guys later.